My love language is words of affirmation. Okay, if you have not taken that test, go get you a book called The Five Love Languages. My husband and I did it at the Methodist Church. <laughs> when we were just married, we went on a retreat, and we did this. And they have one for your children, and they have one for your spouse. So... You read it, you take the test, and everybody has a prominent love language. There's five of them. And so you find out what your spouse's love language is. And you find, and they find out what your love language is, and you feed each other your love, their love language. And then when you do, their love language feels, their love tank feels full. <laughs> and if they feed you yours, your love tank feels full. <laughs> if you don't feed them their love language, they go to work. And they're at the water fountain. And some whore comes up. <laughs> and feeds them their, their love language. And then they feel a tingle. <laughs> and then Satan swoops in. Everybody, I think you know where I'm going with that. Okay. So there's five love languages. The first one is quality time. You know people that just want you to spend quality time with them. Just them. Okay. Then there's physical touch. I know you girls think, that's my husband. <laughs> physical touch. He's on me like a duck on a gene bug. But I'm not talking about that kind of physical touch, the nasty kind. I'm talking about, you know, people that just want to squeeze and they're physical and they want to hold your hand, they want to hug on you, that kind of physical touch. Okay, then there's gifts. And that's my sister. She loves, if you've thought about her, it doesn't have to be expensive. If it's a rose, if it's a card, hers is gifts. She feels love and her love tank is full. Mine is words of affirmation. So all my husband has to say is, Lee Ann, you look beautiful today. Or Lee Ann, that Trisha Yearwood's chicken piccata is to die for. Me. <laughs> and then I'm willing to do something vulgar with him. <laughs> And then he gives me money to get my hair highlighted. <laughs> you see how that works? That's really biblical. Okay, and then the fifth one is acts of service. So that's my husband's. So I have to, honest to goodness, I have to go in the garage and build a set of shells for him to feel loved. <laughs> 